So, I do say so a lot, don't I? So, so, so. So, so. Anyway, putting the so's to one side. Um... Hello again and welcome back to March Payne's Midlife Dolly Crisis. So I don't know what the weather is like around your way, but here it's really kind of, it's very cold, first of all. It also looks very white over, but it's not actually snowed. We did get a bit of snow last week, but, but this week we just had a lot of ice and stuff. It's also very misty and foggy. So it's not the kind of weather that you really want to be out doing stuff. So we don't have to worry with going outside and getting cold. We can stay in here where it's warm and toasty or toasty-ish. I'm wearing a jumper with thermals underneath, but never mind. So 2020 was a big year for Cindy because there was the Collectors Club and they basically released six collectors editions of, of dolls which were inspired by classic looks. Now, I didn't get any at the time and obviously I kind of regret it now a bit, but there was one I particularly wanted and she was still available to buy up until I think around November or December of 2021. And I undenied about it and as tends to happen, when I decided I'm gonna get it, they were unfortunately sold out. However, Luckily, a friend of mine had bought the whole series and realised that he didn't really have room for them and he wanted to kind of pare his collection down. So he ended up selling them. However, he remembered that I was a big fan of this particular doll. So he kept her aside for me and I purchased it off him. So a big thank you to my friend Nikki for that. Um, she is here. Because I'm open uh, at this time of year and because of the big spiel about what the weather's like, you can probably already guess which one this is. I'm really excited to open her. I think she's going to be a really beautiful display doll, especially as I said this time of year. And yes, if you've seen the title, you already know which doll she is. She is um, Cindy Skater, basically. Sorry, Ice Skater. It says Ice Skater on the box. So we're going to go table down and we're going to have a look at everything she comes with and just really kind of enjoy unboxing it together. Okay so here is the outer box of the the Cindy. So it's quite a nice design. It feels quite sturdy as well. Uh, there's, there is a sticker on the back that says Ice Skater so I'm guessing that they're all the same, all the boxes are the same and they basically just have a label to say which one it is. So let's open this. And then we slide out the box that the doll is in. So as I mentioned, these were obviously like limited edition and collector dolls. And it says so here, it says design a limited edition and original pedigree design. And on the bottom it says ice skater. So just there. So you know which one you're getting when you, when you see it. The boxes basically were very similar to this, but they were all a different section of the, the Union Jack flag. And you could basically make the flag if you had all the dolls. Let's get the doll open and have a look. It does feel very premium, I have to say, already. The fact that it's in a box, there's the tissue paper, it, it feels like a real treat. So this is the artwork inside the box, which I really love. It's very kind of retro looking. So this was the original Skater Cindy on this side. And this is the redesign of her. And the artist, I think, is Rachel Godfrey who also did the design work for the new relaunch dolls. So let's pop this to one side and let's have a look at what is in the box. So the paper is actually quite nice and thick. It's not like thin tissue paper. There we go. 
there is Skater Cindy. Sorry, Ice Skater. Ice Skater Cindy. She's in there. So she's got a few bits around her. So she does come with a stand. So that is the base of that. So we'll put that to one side. Oh, and then this is the other bit. I think this might just slip out. You know what, I'm going to take this, so there's an inner box, I'm going to take the inner box out and take all the bits out and then we'll have a proper look. So these um, are little boxes which have accessories and stuff in them and they were basically just slotted in there. The box is actually really nice and obviously I'm not going to, I'm not going to dump the box, but it should be easy enough to kind of put, put back together anyway. So I'm going to put that to one side as well. She wasn't too difficult to get out. It was basically just kind of like cutting, cutting some rubber bands and stuff like that. So this is the stand, which we will probably be using because I think it's going to be quite good to use that. And it basically kind of opens like that. So it does move in there. Ah, there we go. It's clipped, clipped in now. It seems like a quite a nice stand, to be honest. And as I say, you can basically adjust the waist, the waist bit. So, depending on what what the doll is wearing, so that's good. So I'll put that to one side. So it also comes with this, which is sort of like the uh, the certificate of authenticity in a way. It does tell you what number your doll is. So she is number four hundred and thirty one. And basically, because Cindy was launched in 1964, sorry, 1963, they were, they basically produced 1,963 of each of the kind of the redesigned dolls. So um, she is number 431 of 1,963 um, skater dolls that were, were produced. So we'll put that to one side. It's quite nice, actually. It's a bit nicer than the ones you get for the, the Barbie look dolls, um, in that it does feel quite in plastic. It is actually plastic card, so it will obviously keep. So we've also got these little boxes here, which I think we'll probably open these first, and then we'll have a look at her. So we'll just pop her over here. So you get three of these, and I think each doll had three boxes. And you can either punch a hole through there, which I might not do. I might literally just open it this way, because it might be a bit nicer. So as I say, these all have the accessories in. So here we go. So this is, I think, it's either her hat, or I think she also comes with um, like a hand warmer. So that is that. Okay, so this is this is kind of a, a Cindy charm. So basically, if you collected all six of these, you could send it off and you would basically be sent a, a Cindy charm bracelet. So I'll keep that in there. That will go back in the box anyway. And then this is the last one. Let me rip the box now. There we go, that's fine. Okay, so this is... This is um, a little magazine that you get. So, similarly to the relaunch dolls, which we're getting, uh, they all come with like a little, a little booklet as well, a bit like this. So this kind of tells you about the history of Cindy. So there's lots of pictures in there. Um, and then it shows you the kind of the the redesigns of them at the back. And it kind of has the original as well with them. So that's kind of interesting and that you can see what what she would have um, have originally looked like and things like that. So that's quite nice. 
Um, and also it's a really good size for the actual doll. So she could she could carry that around if she if she wanted to. When she wasn't ice skating, she could have a bit of a read. Uh, and that is all that's in there. So let's open this. Maybe she just comes with a hat. For some reason I thought she had like a muff or something, but maybe she doesn't. So I have just double checked and you don't get a muff with her. I think I was confused because the hats, in some of the pictures she's actually holding the hat. So maybe I, I thought that was that was a muff. Maybe I just presume there would be because she's wearing kind of wintry gear. So let's have a look, proper look at her, shall we? So her hair is kind of an unusual mix of kind of like silver and a sort of a bluey grey colour. It's a really difficult one to actually define because in the pictures it basically looks like a flat colour but when you look up close there's a real kind of mixture of colours in there. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or, or not but yeah it's it's a real kind of kind of mixture of, um, of a kind of a darker grey and then a sort of a more sort of bluey grey I guess but it definitely looks blue when you kind of look at it at the front. So, so yeah, that, that's quite interesting. Um, should we remove, I don't really want to take the, I don't really want to undress her because I'm worried I'm not going to get it to look nice again. So I, I might not, I might not remove the cape. We'll have to have a look at her sort of fully clothed, I'm afraid. So, her, she has a very pretty face. She's kind of got that sort of classic, classic Cindy look, which I think a lot of us, well, most of us from a certain generation will remember from our childhoods and that she always kind of had this sort of sort of round face I guess and she's got the side eyes going on because obviously she is side eye Cindy um, and she has got little earrings in so she's got little snowflake earrings which obviously is great because it's it is winter so yeah so she has the two earrings in so the face mould I'm presuming is going to be exactly the same as the face mould that we're getting now with the dolls. So I think it has been slightly sort of updated, but I, I think it's pretty pretty close to the original one that, you know, a lot of us remember anyway. She also does have rooted eyelashes as well. Yes, she, they're definitely there. I don't know if you can see them, they're very small. Obviously check the pictures out at the end for any sort of close details. And she's got a, got grey eyes, which, which goes obviously very well with the rest of her. So that is her face. So the articulation and everything like that should be, I would imagine, very similar, if not the same as the relaunch dolls. In fact, I might grab one of the relaunch dolls so we can have a look at them kind of side by side. So here we go. So this is Sweet Treat Cindy and Ice Skater Cindy. Uh, Sweet Treats is not in her stock outfit. She is in a dress that you might recognise with some boots that you might recognise. They fit her pretty well actually, so I'm very pleased about that. But um, yeah, so articulation wise, I think they're pretty much exactly the same. I think the only difference is, and I'm not sure if yeah, so the hands on the hands on ice skater Cindy is kind of like a softer sort of almost rubber, whereas her hands are are kind of hard plastic really. They're kind of more solid and you can't really move them. But her fingers do actually kind of bend a bit. Obviously, I wouldn't want to bend them too much, but um, yeah, it's more bendable. So I think the legs are pretty much the same and they've got the whole knee bend, they've got the whole hip thing going on. Obviously this is a first wave relaunch, um, Cindy, so I know that some of them were loose in the hip, so she's kind of loose in the hip as well. She does have a waist turn as well and she also has the waist turn. We've got the arm thing going on in that she can lift lift her shoulders. We also have wrist movement and we have elbow movements, I think. 
Yes. Yeah, we do. We definitely have that. Sometimes it kind of depends on what, what position the arm is in, whether or not it's going to bend or not. But you just have to move it. You have to turn it and then you, you get to a right bit and it's uh, it, it does actually bend. So let's have a look at her outfit now, shall we? Because I think pretty much... Ah, OK. So there is actually a tilt on her head. You can tilt it kind of either side, which is quite cute. Whereas with with this girl here, her head doesn't really tilt. You can kind, kind of do it, but it's really... It's really... It's so small that it's probably not actually meant to be happening. Um, so let's put her to one side. Let's concentrate on our our ice skater. So she does come in this fabulous outfit. So first of all, she's got this this wonderful cape. I really love the fabric that they've used because it's very sort of like retro, and you know we've got the kind of the white and the blue kind of all kind of mixed in. Obviously, this matches the skirt. We've got a fur collar here, and we also have um, a tie, which obviously keeps it on, which I don't really want to uh, want to disturb. We've got slits down in the cape so that she can move her arms out if she wants to. And she's got this grey, sort of grey knitted jumper underneath, which is which is actually a really nice piece as well. And then she's got this skirt, which obviously matches the cape, it's the same material. We've got a waistband here and we've got like four little sort of pearl details, almost like a belt, I suppose, on there. And then underneath, this is attached to the skirt, we have some some glittery sort of net or tool there, just to help you keep its shape. And the, the, the skirt is actually lined which is quite nice. Obviously that's a great detail to have. And also, yeah, also the cape, or the capelet, that is also lined in the same sort of like shiny sort of satin material. Yeah, and then she just has, has tights on. She doesn't have any knickers, but I guess they're painted, they're kind of engraved on like the other ones, yeah. You might not be able to see, but it does actually say Cindy on her waistband there. And then we get to sort of a textured sort of underpant situation which is which is there so obviously we have got ice skates so these are quite cute and they do tie up they've got like pom-poms on the end of the laces again it's something I would imagine I'm not going to want to undo because they probably are going to be a nightmare to try and get them looking as neat as possible again and they've got blades on the bottom as well because obviously they're ice skates I think it's a shame that you couldn't remove them and put them back again because you can't really have her sort of walking normally. She's always going to have those on unless obviously you get her some new some new shoes or whatever. But um, but yeah, so that is all the stuff that she kind of came in the box with, apart from the hat which we have here. So the hat is a white sort of fur hat which I'm sure is going to look very kind of glamorous and retro on her. There we go. It's very kind of Dr. Zhivago, isn't it? Um, it, it feels a bit big for her, but I, I guess, you know, it has to go over her hair as well, which um, I didn't mention. So it's basically, we have a split here on the side and it's tied around and then sort of in a ponytail at the back just to kind of hold it together. It does, it does look a bit bouffanty here. I don't know if that is just mine because she's been in a box for a while or if they're all a little bit like that. But yeah, she has got, she's got a really kind of retro look about her, which obviously is something that I'm obsessed with. And I, I didn't, I didn't show this, but there is also the Cindy tag there on her capelet. Um, it's pink with, with a kind of a silver S in it. So let's pop her hat back on. There we go. And let's put her in a stand and see how well that works. So obviously it's got the adjustable waist clip bit, which is probably a good job because her outfit is probably a bit bigger than most. And obviously you don't want to 
spoil the outfit. So there we go. So it works quite well. You might want to sort of put it underneath the skirt, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to have a, have a fiddle with it anyway. And obviously I'll try and take some nice pictures of her outside. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased to have her as part of my, my collection. She's kind of the only collector Cindy that I have. But I'm, I'm very pleased to have her. And also, you know, she'll be really nice to kind of display around Christmas time. So let me know what you think of her down in the comments below. Also, please like the video and please subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the pictures at the end. So all that's left is for me to say goodbye and I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. So from me and from Miss Skater Cindy, I Skater Cindy, bye.